Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Space Engineers on the Radio Band 03, and it is awesome to have you along. We are working on a new ship today. Uh, I've not destroyed our old ship. I'm a little bit of a sentimental guy. So I feel like these first few ships we've built eventually will... Well, this guy is going to keep on working. Our drill ship for down here on the planet is definitely going to keep on working. This guy here, I parked him over here. This is our first ship I have ever taken into space. And then come back and landed successfully in case you missed the stream from last Friday night. It's posted there in the, uh, in the series, in the Space Engineers series. Um, and it was an amazing experience for me and I loved it to death. Now, the comments that have come in since then is all kinds of ideas on how we could refurbish this ship to take it back into space and, and be probably a little more successful in our next journey. I decided I kind of like to save them. Eventually, maybe we have a spaceship museum, a ship museum, and we mark these guys as to, you know, this is the first one, this is the first ship that took me to space. So it's special. And the other thing I was, and this little rover, this guy here gave us all of our stuff. Uh, located all of our different ores down here. Located this iron mine site, you know, this little guy right here. So we'll keep him. And I, I don't know if this guy will ever disappear. And this guy may go back into space and may become our drill ship up there. But some of you would like to see me build more of a large, large grid ship. I would actually like to do that from our asteroid base, which is going to be right there. Uh-huh. Our asteroid is sitting right there just waiting for us. And <laughs> I'll be honest, I put a medium-sized cargo container on this ship, and then I tried to add um, a bunch of resources in it so I could just fly up there and get started on something. And I couldn't get the ship out of the atmosphere. I could barely get out of the atmosphere to the point where I could turn off our um, thrusters here, our atmospheric thrusters. I, it, we just started coming right back down. So that ship is not made to carry a whole lot of stuff, that's for sure. But I would like to make a cargo ship, is what I'm thinking about right now. And the thing we noticed about that ship, the design I had on it, is that we were not able to uh, get to the H2O2, was it the generator? Yeah, I believe number seven here. We couldn't get to this guy because his large port was uh, messed up. So now I've, 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 I realize I've got this mixed up as well. I need to put this guy on the back of the cockpit and then my large port. I've got a, a conveyor switcher here. Uh, let's go, let's, let's take this off real quick. Oop, up, 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 up. Careful now, let's not get crazy with the blocks. Do that right there and then I want you, I guess. We're gonna put you, where are your, your ports? Right in the middle, right smack dab in the middle. Should be right there like that. So we do that right there. And the trick now is to keep this large port available to us. We don't want any more small ports on the ship. This is gonna fill us with O2 in our cabin if, I, if I'm understanding everything correctly. So we've got that guy there. Um, that's the O2 H2 generator. So that's the guy I need to go into to drop off my hydrogen bottles, correct? Yes. This is the guy I would put in there and, uh, well, wait, maybe not. O2H2 generator. That's what I'm using in here, right? To get, uh, I know, I know. You're looking at it, talking to a noob here. O2H2 generator. Okay, so that's the guy I need to be able to have access to so I can put uh, pieces and parts in here, or the bottles, the oxygen bottles and the hydrogen bottles and be able to refill them. So I need access to that to a large port at all times so I can pass things in and take things out. The small ports on the ship only allow the ores and gases to pass through them and maybe a couple of other things, not quite sure what those would be, but I definitely know it's gases and ores that can pass through the small uh, conveyor system. But the large port is needed for the bottles because they're bigger. So I wanna keep that large port open. These are my, okay, these are the big old jennies. So I need to get a port that goes off to the side that's going to be a large one that I can then just go up to the side of the ship and click on it and be able to add my bottles into it. So we do have, let's see, Control 2. This is going to be, it's not going to be a huge cargo ship, but it's hopefully it's going to be a sizable one. Uh, I could put this guy here. 
that's a cargo container. But I'm thinking maybe, maybe I put him down here. I'm not actually feeding into him, so that's a problem. This guy up here is small, very small guy. Okay, so I'm going to try to think about how it is I want to continue forward from this point right here. I wanted to talk about that right there because that's the thing I've got to keep in mind that's most important, that I have a large port that I can access to, in order to get into this guy right here to drop those bottles off into. All right, let me, um, let me fiddle with this a little bit more because I could easily go like that and another medium here. And I was going to think, oh, that's not in the right spot. I could add a port. Well, if I use a conveyor tube, that won't work. But if I, yeah, and if I use the conveyor junction, that won't work either. How big is the large cargo container on here? I was going to take a break, and now I'm, I'm, I've got you with me here. Hold on. Let's take a look at a large cargo. I think this is going to be pretty obnoxious, but see, that would give me what I need, though. Can I put one of those on a small grid? I think I can. I'm pretty sure I can. The question I'm going to have for you guys is what do I need for my thrust? Uh huh. If I put that guy right there, well, a little bit higher than that actually because that's going to be too low. There is a large grid cargo container for this. Oh, I'm loving that. Okay, I'm loving that to death. Give me one second, there's some banging outside my house. Let me go take a look. Okay. <laughs> I go walking out in the living room. I'm like, what is that noise? We got the front door. I go in the living room and Giovanni's over by the cupboards in the living room. He's got this look on his face like, uh, yeah, I was just trying to get in this cupboard here and it's just not cooperating with me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Giovanni. Let's get this stuff. He's, uh, taken to uh, hiding in cupboards when people come over. We've got actually company coming over today. Our old neighbors from the Flagstaff area are coming down here. They're going to leave their vehicle here. His dad works in uh, Alaska uh, as a, he raises salmon. So I could do that. Could I do, God, you know what? I'm thinking big now. I'm thinking maybe I do two of these, which I want to have to have plenty of thrust, aren't I, in order to get, uh, you know, off of here. But this gives me my large ports on the side, which is what I'm, that is not right. There's so many little uh, little snap points for these guys, isn't there? You got to really be careful with what you're doing. Feel like that's right? Nope, that's still not right. Maybe if I fly. I want to thank everybody for the help on this series. I am having such a great time, and I'm glad to hear that you guys are enjoying it too. It has been a ton of fun. A ton of fun. I really enjoyed. Um, Getting to space for the first time. I am noticing a little bit of lag in my game right now. It's been warned a couple of times that um, too many conveyors and things of that nature, too many lights can cause some lag. I think I've got... This rainstorm has been going on forever and a day. So if I do two cargo containers like that, it's going to have to be a sizable thrust on that, especially if I have those full, right? I'm going to have to have some serious thrust. Now, this ship... When I lift off, I want to lift off this direction and push straight up that way. That's how I want to lift off from this. I don't want to have to tilt the ship and then point in a different direction to go. I just want to go straight up. And once the atmospheric thrusters give out, then I turn on the hydrogen thrusters and I just keep holding down spacebar and I just continue to lift out of the planet that way. I guess you guys will tell me if that's even a possible thing. I'm pretty sure it is. Let's go control one. What else do I have in here? I've got my hydrogen tanks, number eight. Now that I've got my ports on the side, I could do you here. I'm going to put two of these guys on here. Hmm. I'm thinking I want a couple of large hydrogen thrusters on the bottom here, which I believe I could probably get it by with. Looks like I put everything one block too high. Number eight. Hmm. 
I go like this, we will change the color scheme. Okay, I've got our problem solved. I, for some reason, thought maybe I couldn't get into the O2H2 generator here. Uh, but it turns out the ship has to be powered before you can pass the bottles through to see if it's even going to work. Uh, I did go back a little bit and... Um, redo, reconfigure this cargo container so that I have a large port on the bottom so when the ship is, you know, docked, I can access that. I could put the connector down here too. The ship docks and then I can actually uh, use the connector to get in and out of the ship. So I think this might be a connector location. I don't think I actually put one on my hotbar though. Let's go G, let's go to connector. Yeah, let's grab one of these guys right here. I know I can right click on that to pull it down. I just, I, for some reason, don't do that all the time. Come on now. There we go. So if I put this guy right down here. I just wasted some battery parts, didn't I? I did. Those power cells, I think, is what gets wasted. I need to be careful about that. I don't want to do that too many times. So I should be able to come to this and get to my O2 H2 generator just fine through here. Okay. We're going to keep it kind of simple. We're going to get more elaborate ships uh, later on down the road, of course. Uh, oh, now I'm not going to be able to... Hmm. Okay, now i got to rethink this again. I need my large port coming out the back. Well, I got three large ports, and then... Okay, so yeah, I've got to turn this one more time here. Okay, now I can continue on with my large ports to the back here. Beautiful. Let's put our connector back on here. Do I need to take T off? <laughs> My cats are being really weird today. I was just playing with them in the living room. And uh, we got all excited. We bought these new, uh, a couple of new cat toys when we moved here. And one is a small llama that looks like one of the llamas from uh, the, vill the, the trading villager. The wandering villager from Minecraft. And um, Wasabi likes to pick it up like a kitten and carry it around and meow really loud. It's just really interesting. But she's really funny to watch. And then uh, the other one was an avocado, <laughs> of all things. But sometimes they just get on this roll with them, and they make me laugh so hard that I can't stop sometimes. I think I've got this set wrong. This might take a couple episodes for us to do, but I know you guys like this is what it's all about, right? Is the ship building. Large port, port going backwards. Now, do you think that's lined up right? I think it probably is. Push the wrong button. This one doesn't look right now. Perhaps it is up at this level. I can see better. Oh, man, I just love... That building mechanic that was added to the game. It's perfect. All right, like that. That gives me... Well, that gives me large ports to look into there. But I can also use... Oh, I wonder if I should turn these downwards. And I could put a large thruster under it and one on top of it. Because like I said, we're going to be... Well, let's get eight. This is a cargo ship. I'm going to need lots of fuel, right? Because it's going to be heavy. I feel like it's going to be heavy. So maybe four of these guys? Or is that excessive? Probably not excessive, huh? That's probably going to work out just great. I'm wondering if there's a better configuration I could do with these guys here. Large ports in the back of the... That's not a hydrogen tank, though, but there is large ports in the back of the hydrogen tanks. I 
It's those large ports I want to keep open for those big engines. Let's grab number four um, and hit the letter P. I think I'm going to go with an off-white on this ship since it's going to be a cargo ship. And we will use golden armor, ooh, glamour armor, frozen armor, mossy armor, uh, rusty, woodland, no, sci-fi armor. Let's try that one. And yeah, we're going to use that uh, white color. I don't think it's going to show too much, right? Because these are solid things we're putting on. We really don't have any blocks put on here yet. Can we do something like that right there? We can give these different colors. Right now, that's really nice. You can really see everything very, very well when it gets white like that. Especially with it, it being dark here a lot. Now I'm thinking... Yeah, I could do a reconfiguration. I can see now that I'm going to have a, a few more ports than I thought available to me to look into. But, well, at the same time, I think I'm doing okay here. The more ports I have, like, I'm thinking about putting the larger thrusters on these guys here, front and back, for the stop and go. But I don't know that I need that big of... A port for front and back it's the lift that I really want to get uh, taken care of is the lift so I need all my big thrusters underneath here all right give me a second I'm thinking thrusters now because if I turn these guys and put the large port down at the bottom it gives me a lot of different ports to be able to put uh, large hydrogen thrusters on yeah, give me one second. Let me uh, let me tinker with this a little bit more. It's going to be a little bit bigger ship, but still small grid. But it's going to be something we can get, hopefully, into space with, and then go to the asteroid, dock with it, do a little bit of building, get sort of a foothold up there, and then, you know, start doing some harvesting nearby on the asteroids. Yeah, give me one second. I'll be back. I'm thinking this is, this is really, really fun. Welcome back. All right, now what I want to do is make sure these guys are hooked up. Interior plates. Don't think I need to run these, but I'm doing it anyways just because it's uh, fun. Interior plates. It's probably going to add a little weight to my ship, I would think. A little bit. But I thought if we put these guys right here, we could just pump the gases in and just have it look like it's pumping the gases in. Do I have to T to... Yeah, I do. If I hit T, I see. It'll actually... I always forget, is it T on or T off? <laughs> you know? Do that. Boom, just like that. That would be kind of cool maybe right there. that and a curve right in there like so if we do something like that that could be kind of neat looking on the side we could run some blocks along there to kind of protect those pipes so they don't you know suffer any kind of damage like i've got room for my side to side thrust and i've got plenty of room for my upward thrust i'm actually going to put one on each of well, I mean, how much do I need? How much thrust do I need to get this thing off the ground? I don't know. Uh, we need batteries, medium cargo. I get rid of that, and then let's go large atmospheric thrust, large hydrogen thrust. We need you. I'm gonna get rid of all these guys here too, and then we're gonna need hydrogen thrust and atmospheric thrust. Large ion thruster. Oh, that's the sci-fi ones, though. Industrial large... There we go. That's the one I want there. And I want sci-fi large atmospheric thruster. Do they have a... Large warfare ion thruster? I need to get that DLC. I don't have that yet. There's the sci-fi large atmospheric thruster. And then this is an industrial one. So I'm thinking what I could do is put one of these 
Like here. Here. God, that would actually be right there. It would be perfect time huh, with that connector is. And maybe put the connector back here. Put him right there. Or we'll have a different space back here for it. And then this direction, forward, we're not going to need as big a thrusters, I don't think. It's good. This is going to be for the lift off. Is that enough to lift me off the ground, you guys think? Or would I have to, you know, double up on this and put like another one here and another one right here? That would, that would definitely get us out of the atmosphere, right? I would think probably excessive. Each one of these hydro tank tanks would be fueling basically each of these thrusters. I think it might be overkill. I'm going to wait for you guys to let me know about that. If anything else, though, I think two of them would probably be able to get us off the planet just fine. And then I can use smaller ones elsewhere. Then when we come back, I will have these guys underneath me to be able to um, turn on and off to help lower me nice and slowly. Nice and slowly. This connector, though, is going to be in trouble. It's not going to be low enough. It might be. I could get a connector here and just slide in and plug in right there with these thrusters back here. I think it was you guys said in the comments or during the stream last Friday that it's it, there's a two block distance and nothing's pointing at that so it shouldn't heat up. It is going to get me closer to here but if I put this up high enough off the ground, this connector to what it whatever it attaches to up there at the uh, asteroid base, then um, it should be fine, right? It shouldn't melt anything. If it's this high off this ground here, it should be okay. I want to say... You know, it's going to be two. That's only one block high off the uh, off the ground here. But I can make this connector a little bit higher, and then we shouldn't have any problems with that at all. So I'm overthinking that will be just fine. We can work around that quite easily. Uh, so we've got two thrusters pushing upward. Now I'm thinking we could also add maybe. I'm going to need two of these big thrusters as well. These guys don't need to be plugged into anything. Will you fit in there? No, those conveyor tubes are in the way. If I put a couple of large atmospheric thrusters on the side here, I'll have to get some blocks going on, huh? Oop. Is that enough to get one of these to kind of say, hey, okay, I'll attach to that. Okay, so it'll do that right there, I see. This again, I want this for liftoff. I want that guy for liftoff. And I feel like maybe he's enough. You guys are going to let me know. Because you're amazing. But I want to get the concept down so I can at least have that. So you guys actually have something to comment on and let me know if I'm on the right track or am I way off. I can't thank you enough for all the help. It's really... Um, it's boosting my confidence in the game a lot. I noticed uh, there was quite there was there have been several comments of people who, with the learning curve being what it is on this game, that um, they find that they're you know it, they're kind of they shy away from it. And I would agree, it is de definitely a learning curve on this. How much am I going to be carrying in here? Let's go cargo. Large cargo, fifteen thousand six hundred twenty-five. I don't think I'll be putting that much in there. Uh, on liftoff. I want to take up, if I need to, I'll make two or three trips just to make, I'm putting the large cargo container on because the medium cargo container doesn't hold much at all. So I don't know. That little bit of lag going on right there. So I got two of the big hydrogen to lift off with and I'm probably add maybe a couple more of these guys too. just to push us up and then these guys are supposed to take us from where they they run out 
don't work anymore the rest of the way. I don't know what else to do about the thrusters. Now, what else can I put on this ship that's going to be beneficial to me up there? What? Let's go control. Well, we're good right here. Let's go G. The survival kit. What is that? What does that look like on a ship? I don't even know. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is this is interesting. Okay, this is interesting. What do you look like? You have a large port and you have a screen right there, huh? The screen is there, so... And I got two small ports. This would actually be really good right behind the cockpit, huh? You could have put this behind the cockpit up there. And we would have had our survival kit port there. It's going to have to be, of course, reachable to us. What if... What if I did... The survival kit would be really great to have. It would make... It would give me a little peace of mind. If I do that there... I could move this back a little bit and move that back a little bit. Instead of having the two hydrogen tanks right next to each other. I wonder if I've got that upside down or not. It doesn't... It's not lined up anyways. Try that again. I would have access to this right here. This survival kit, which would be, I think, beneficial in space for us. That'll actually stick there, huh? If I do something like this... Make sure I can access that at all times. Be like that. I get to that survival kit really quick. And then I still need my two hydrogen engines, though, as well. That has it ending with small ports in the back off the survival kit. We could put one of those transitions in here, too. The conveyor transition and that would get us back to a large port in the back we don't need the large uh, thrusters in the back again we need them underneath us so that I have help leaving the atmosphere and then help slowing down when I come back into the atmosphere somebody mentioned parachutes I thought that was kind of cool maybe I will try a parachute or something I don't know or hydrogen tanks I should say I'm not even sure if I really need this on the ship. When we do a large grid ship, then of course I'm going to want something like that in it. I want a ship that we're going to be able to put other ships into and then go off into do some deep, deep space exploration would be really fun. Do you think I need that? Because right now if I get in the cockpit, it should refill my energy and my H2. So the only thing I need the survival kit for it would be health. Which is not a bad idea. We are going to be in space, and I've got a bad habit of getting out of my ship without my helmet on, like I did in the stream, thinking the ship ran into me. Well, no, that's not the case. You didn't have your helmet on, radio. <laughs> you can't breathe in space, man. Um, you have to have access to that screen. One thing I haven't put on yet is the oxygen tank. Mm -hmm. This guy right here. We definitely need an oxygen tank on here. I just swapped around the, there we go, swapped around the um, survival kit. So now uh, when, you know, we're in space, we'll be able to just access the survival kit from above. I think that's probably a, a better solution. Then I don't have to worry about, um, you know, having to be access to the window from the side. I don't know why I thought I had to be the side. If we're in space, I could easily fly up and just plop right in there and get to it. Hopefully, you know, unless I get myself into trouble. Uh, 
There's our O2 tank, and then I would build something around this. There's going to be some blocks on it, too. you got to pretty much count on that. You know, there's going to be some blocks on here to kind of give it a little bit more shape. We've got all the pieces, parts put in. I think I have everything. Well, I don't have everything I need yet. No, I don't. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's go with the, uh, we need a gyro. Oop, gyro. We need an ore detector. I don't, don't know that we really need the ore detector, but I, I think I'd like to have something on all of these just so I can see into uh, what we're dealing with here. Uh, we need the battery. Warfare battery. Small battery. Do that, and then we also need uh, an antenna. Right there. So we can mark the ship and be able to see it when we leave uh, the confines of it. Let's get up here, and we'll take you off, and you off, and you off. And I think I might be able to get away with putting you right here. I like these guys up on the, the top here. That, and then number six. Oh, number six. Like that. Oops. Didn't quite push that in time. <laughs> it's okay. And our antenna. There we go. Beautiful. Go to rain again. Okay, got those put on. What else do I need other than more thrust? Um, hmm. I'm thinking I could probably add a few. Like I said, the side to side hydrogen thrusters, I'm going to keep with the small ones. I think that's probably a better idea. Is there the small one on here? Yeah. Now if I do these guys here. I can literally put one there and one here, and that would be fine for side to side, right? Stopping power, I've learned that I like. I would like to have a little more of the stopping power ability is what I'd like to have. So maybe what I do is, hmm, if I put a T-junction on here or something like that, I could easily do that. Just thinking, if I put a conveyor T on here, I put one forward, one backwards, because we got all our big ports showing right here, which is great. I'm happy to have the big ports showing. That means I've got plenty of access. Well, I guess I don't really. I can't access what I need to through these large ports because it's small ports feeding into the cargo containers. But reverse, yo. Reverse thrust. What if we do... Since so we have these on now, we still need to put that battery on though. We need to, we're need we going to need a few batteries. What if we do... Let's go back to the conveyors. Again, give me your feedback on this. Is this going to work? Am I... Am I kidding myself? <laughs> What's the story? Uh, zoop, like that. I can do that. And I can do this right. Unable to place my... Oh, because I'm in the way. Okay. Now, before I get too far here, I'm going to go too far. I could do that for my forward thrust with a couple of small engines. 
and I could do this for my backwards thrust with a couple of small hydrogen engines. Oh, sorry guys. There we go. Back to our second control. And number five. So I'm thinking if I put one here, I've got two for reverse. And then I got two over here for forward. I've got side to side. I just need up and down. Well, I've got up. <laughs> I guess I've got up taken care of pretty good. Maybe. You guys going to let me know again if that's going to be enough to get me off the planet. I don't know. Uh, we may have to take it for a test flight and see. If not, we can always add a couple more to it and see if that's going to be what we need. Uh, forward, forward, reverse. Left and right is on the side of the tanks. I just need down. Hmm. Get this fixed up. <laughs> That's where this thing sometimes it doesn't see what you're actually looking at. Oh, oh. Oh, no, it's not the large cargo container I want. Dang it. Probably doesn't help that I'm got floating blocks, huh? Alright, if I go, let's go instead, let's go G. Back to conveyor. There is a small conveyor. Small conveyor. Is there another one of these? Large industrial cargo. No. Console block. No. Conveyor. If I do you here. I'll be able to do front, back, and sideways. There's my one down that I'm looking for. And then I can add my conveyors on here. One there, one here, then I could put my reverse thrust on there. Put one here, one there. Forward, I mean, my forward thrust. That's got all my thrusters that I need. Forward, reverse, down, up, side to side. And then I can come back with these guys, and I can add a little something, you know, in here to kind of hold everything together. And we can change some of these blocks out and make them look a little bit prettier instead of just using the square one all the time. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? We could do that. We do that right there, and then we've got this kind of sealed up over here, okay? Now there's some small hydrogen tanks as well. Do I want to use those, or am I fine with the four big ones? That's another thing. Is this going to provide me with enough juice to get me into space and be able to move around a little bit? I don't know. It, at least take us up to space, get to the asteroid that has ice on it. There's one, uh, there's cobalt, ice, ice, and then we're, that's 52, 5046. It's a little ways away from us up there, but there are other asteroids we could look at nearby to see if we could find ice. If not, we can coast over there, get to those guys. I can, I can use my drill to harvest some ice to refill and replenish the ship. I think we've got all the guts. I think we do. Now it's just a matter of, you know, adding a little design to it and stuff like that. I think I've got... The only thing I don't have, I guess I don't have the atmospheric thrusters on, do I? I've got a couple of them on, but not very many of them. And again, we're going to need these guys so we can do, you know. Our other 
directions as well. We've got two of the big ones pushing up, which I'm fairly certain that's not going to be enough. It doesn't feel like that's going to be enough to get us off the planet. Not these two and not those two. These two, yeah, I don't, I don't see that. That's a lot of cargo. don't fly fast I never do I've got plenty of spaces for this though to go in and, and I could do stuff with these guys they'll fit just about anywhere it looks like and again I don't think I need a whole lot of forward and backward maybe a little more on the backward front than the forward front I tend to overshoot things a little bit All right, well, this is where I'm at right now. Give me a second. Yeah, those questions in my head about the thrust is what I really have at the moment. I could slap a couple batteries on this thing. We could get um, the atmospheric thrusters going and get it landed over on the uh, connector here so it could start charging. It's probably going to grab most of the ice that I have available to me. First thing I should probably do is get into the cockpit and get everything labeled properly. This is going to be just a cargo ship, a small, simple cargo ship to get us started on our asteroid base up there. Hopefully we can carry enough materials up there to do that. What I want to do is I want to get the basic assembler, the basic refinery. We've got a survival kit on the ship, so we don't need to worry about that right now. A couple of solar panels, a couple of pistons, uh, stuff for a drill, a small drill. Or actually a large drill, I mean. A large drill. And then steel plates for some blocks and stuff. A couple of solar panels and a battery up there is what I want to get started first. I'm hoping that's a lot to carry. Uh, the battery stuff alone is all those power cells and they're really heavy. Solar panels are extremely heavy too. Landing gear. I don't know if I want to put landing gear on here. I really believe the connector is going to be good for me. And with the ship, I could just kind of, you know, once it comes to a complete stop, I can get out of it. And as long as I don't smash into it with anything, it shouldn't drift off anywhere. It should just sit there, right? And we're in space. Okay, let me take a little break, and then I'll be right back. Just rambling on like usual. Welcome back. I'm adding the, um, even if they're just kind of temporary at the moment, our atmospheric thrusters. I got front, back, left, right, port, starboard, uh, and then I've got up, of course, covered with the big guys here, and then I got a couple pointing down as well. I probably only need one that points down, but I've got two that point down. Reverse is still not set up as well as I'd like it to be, but I can change that. I'm hoping I, what I if I slap a couple batteries on here, I should have enough juice to detach this from this right here and get it up on there so it can start to do its charge uh, until you know we meet up next episode and talk about the comments and what was put in them I still think I don't know part of me thinks those hydrogen uh, these hydrogen engines are going to be enough to get me where I need to be but with those cargo containers if I don't fill them full I should be okay but at the same time they're going to be carrying some weight. And by just adding a little bit of weight to the other ship that we made that took us to space for the first time, for me, um, when I tried to add a medium-sized cargo container with just some of the items, it was going to not get out of the atmosphere. So I'm thinking I might add two more of those hydrogen thrusters, and I probably need a couple more hydrogen tanks, too. You guys can let me know if you think that's the case. Uh, now, with the small ship... This is, I thought we, was, we, we discovered this after we had actually launched into space and had been in space for a short period of time, that uh, I used these small hydrogen tanks to get there. Uh, we didn't actually use the backup uh, large tank until after we were up there. This large guy right here, this uh, hydrogen tank here, we, we had to turn that one on. I actually had it on stockpile. And uh, I thought for a while I was just going to drift off into space and die out there. But... Um, Fortunately, somebody watching saw that I had, had had this on stockpile still, and once I took it off stockpile, we were fine. 
So I'm thinking I might add a couple of these small hydrogen tanks to it as well. Just as, uh, you know, backup, and then I could put those on stockpile, leave them on stockpile, and if something were to go wrong, we will have just a little bit of juice that we'll be able to draw from. So for me to do that, I could put, they're like two blocks wide, right? I keep pushing the wrong button, gee. Um, let's give her the survival kit, and I need hydrogen tanks, a small hydrogen tank. Number eight. You're nice and tiny. I could put you right there in front of him. I could also put him back here where these uh, atmospheric thrusters are. I, they look really cheesy sitting here. I realize that. We can move them around and, and make them look better. Uh, right now, it's just I'm kind of hoping to get this charged up a little bit. If I do that right there, I could put you... Right there, like that. Or like that. I think that looks a little bit better. We do something like that right there. And the same thing on this side right here. Just a couple of little backup tanks. Because they did work actually really well for me. I thought anyways. You can tell me if I'm full of baloney. Right there. Okay. Number one. Let's go ahead and click on that. Right click. In case you don't know, and we will right click on you, and we will middle click on you, and we're good to go. Got some more construction components going in. Yep, I did. Hydrogen. There we go. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Another hydrogen tank there. Uh, let's get this conduit put together too. Let's get six of those. All components are successfully, with, successfully withdrawn. Like that. Again, we've got some blocks on here that are probably extras. And we're going to add some more to it, probably. A couple of little hydrogen tanks out there. I could probably bring those in a little bit. I'm just thinking that maybe what I could do is I could take this and turn it sideways and tuck it in there and then bring the pipe over to that. Eh, it's alright, it's alright. Now, do you, I, do you think I have enough power to be able to take this guy and park him over there? I don't think I want to do this just yet. I want to wait for some feedback, but uh, batteries... Uh, there's another good question. How many batteries do you think I should have on here? We could do we could do them up here. If I put them here, they're okay. Well, we got the survival kit right there, so we gotta be careful about that. I've got the connector which I can gain access to, so I don't really need this back here, but if I take some of these blocks out of here. that I could probably squeeze these batteries up in there do one right under the survival kit like that that would be perfect and then just attach the other one right next to it that would work out I could actually put one here and one there and then they would be side by side all tucked in right there so that's probably where the batteries will go I need feedback though my friends, I need some feedback. I'm not going to take it off this uh, construction uh, landing pad thing here, this, this little guy right here. I'm not going to take him off of there yet. I really do want to get some feedback from uh, those of you who are really familiar with the game. Am I on the right track? Do you think I need more thrust? Because part of me says I don't. Part of me says you probably do. Uh, with those two large cargo containers, four big hydrogen tanks, if we need to, I can add two more of these atmospheric thrusters, and I can add two more of these hydrogen thrusters down here. Also, other question for you, 
Do I have enough hydrogen tanks or should I double up on those? Is two batteries going to be enough to keep the ship in space for a while? I'm, some of these we might, might not be able to answer until I actually detach it from here and plug it in and take it for a test spin and see if it works or not. Uh, but let me know what you think. I'd appreciate it very much. You guys have been, again, so extremely helpful and understanding and the support has been phenomenal. I'm really enjoying the series and that's our next goal. The next goal is to get up there with our, our little tiny cargo ship and uh, get started on an asteroid base. And then that's where I want to do most of our building from now on is up in space because it is beautiful out there. And I just want to be there, you know. I want to be a space engineer, dang it. And so we're going to go do that. But I need help with this ship right here. I'm going to need help with every ship. <laughs> All kinds of stuff down the road. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of rules to the game that, you, that I don't know about. I think there's people out there who have been playing this for thousands of hours that still don't know everything about the game. It's pretty amazing. So let me know. And I appreciate it very much. And again, I thank you all for your support on the series, Space Engineers. It is just so much fun. If you enjoyed today's episode, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.